In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use coupons with the Upsell plugin. So first, you're going to want to come to the settings page inside the Upsell plugin. And if you want to enable coupons, you simply check this off. And a side note, a nice thing is if you have a bunch of coupons already created on your site and you want to stop offering them, you can simply uncheck this and no coupons would work. So once you have this checked off, hit save settings, and then you'd come into the coupons page on the Upsell plugin. So on the coupons page, here's where you could create your coupons. So you would simply click add new. You would give it a title and this is really for your reference. So we can say something like upsell plugin demo, but then the coupon code we could use is demo. So coupon status, you can have it in a pending mode while you're creating it. But once you're ready to have it activated on your site, you would choose active. Discount type, is it a percent or nominal? Is it 10%, 20%, whatever, or is it a fixed price? I'm going to set it at percent for now. And then right here is the amount. And when you're using percentages, you're going to want to give it a decimal as the percentage. So let's say we want to give 50% off. We would type in 0 0.50. And then down here, you actually have the ability to set a expiration date for when this coupon would expire click in the field and let's say we want this coupon to end at the end of the month we can click on December 31st and then automatically after December 31st this coupon will be expired and nobody can use it anymore some more options is usage restrictions is there a minimum amount that a person needs to spend a customer needs to spend to use this coupon if you don't want them to use this coupon for anything less than let's say hundred dollars you can set in a hundred dollars and if the price of the product is less than hundred dollars this coupon can't be applied maximum spend they can't use this coupon if they exceed a certain amount so let's say they purchase something for more than five hundred dollars you don't want it to be able to use a fifty percent off coupon you can set a maximum spend and then down here you have products that you would want to be included so let's say you only want David's books to be included you can choose that you want to remove them you can remove them and if you don't select any of them it'll, this coupon would be good for everything and then down here you can exclude products so let's say we just don't want them to be for these David books but that could be used for everything else and again if you don't have anything in there then it would be ignored so all the products right now would be eligible for this coupon and then we have usage limits total usage li total usage limit is how many times this coupon can be used on your site so let's say you're sending out an email to your customers, your, your customer database, your lead database, and you say for the first 50 people to purchase this product, you can use the coupon code DEMO. Um, so once 50 people use the coupon code, nobody else can use the coupon code after that. And usage limit per customer, this is based off their email address. Let's say that you only want them to be able to use it one time, you would simply put in one, and they could only use it one time with the email address that they're checking out with so if you don't worry about if you don't want these you just want a limited usage for both customer usage and for total limit usage you just leave those blank so for now we have demo as the coupon code so let's go ahead and hit publish and now we have our if I go back to the coupons page we now have a demo coupon code that is activated the upsell plugin demo coupon code demo for 50% off which expires two weeks from now December 31st so now let me show you actually a couple other things that are really unique and very are focused for you to have better conversions so if we go to our products let's work with the upsell plugin course here I'm gonna go into this product and on the checkout tab for every single product you have the ability to either show it show the coupon field or hide it so let me bring this over for right now so right now we have a coupon field where they can enter in a coupon if we don't want this to if we never really want anybody to be able to use a coupon for this product you don't really want this coupon field to be shown at all times because this is something you should test but there's a chance that this is going to hurt your conversions because when people see this sometimes they're going to end up going to Google and searching for a coupon code and 
get distracted and end up not checking out. So when you have this, it could actually be hurting your convergence, especially if you don't have a coupon that they are can easily find or you already offered them. So let's say for this product, we actually don't want a coupon field to show. We can simply hide it. Now if I update this product, and I refresh this page, you shall we'll see. No longer is the coupon field there. So let me just add it back so I can show you the coupon, how it works. So I'm going to show it again. I'm going to activate it. Let me refresh this checkout page again. Okay, so here's our coupon field again. So let me enter in demo, hit apply coupon. And as you'll, you'll see, it automatically adds right here the demo coupon discount of $50. So $100 for the product, $100 subtotal, a discount of $50 using the coupon demo for a total of $50. Now let's say there's taxes involved in this as well. Let me just add real quick. So say the person's from Pennsylvania and you have some sales tax involved there. So the coupon, of course, will only come off of the original total it doesn't affect the taxes so the, t the discount the charge will now be fifty dollars we have a six percent sales tax so the three dollars is added to the fifty dollars for a total of fifty three dollars so there's one other awesome feature when it comes to the coupons that I want to show you which is focused towards you guys converting more sales so another awesome feature is we can hide this coupon field again so let me hide it again real quick So let me refresh the page. Okay, so as we can see here, the coupon field is hidden. If we go back to our product and our URL options, the purchase URL, this is the URL that you're going to use to send them to purchase the product. Let me copy that. So if I bring that into, let me throw that into my notepad real quick. You have the ability to apply the coupon to the end of the checkout URL, the end of the purchase URL. So if I copy this, which is coupon underscore code equals, and then you add the coupon code right here. If we put in the end sign and then add that to the end of the purchase URL, so coupon code, coupon underscore code equals, and then your coupon code, you can use this URL. Let me add that here and you'll see. You can, even though the checkout field, the coupon field is hidden, you can use this URL to send to people, maybe it's to your email database, a specific link which will automatically, when they land on the checkout page, apply the coupon even though the coupon field is hidden. Now this feature we enabled, we added this feature specifically to help conversions because again, when the coupon field is on the checkout page at all times, Sometimes people will leave, try to find a coupon, and not come back to convert and make that purchase. Again, test that out if you'd like. See if it actually is accurate for your website and your sales funnels, if it hurts conversions. But so what's really nice about it is when there's no coupon field here, it's not open to the public. If somebody comes to your website and wants to purchase this product, they're not necessarily going to see that you offer coupons. But if you do want to offer a discounted rate to your email list to your database of current customers, you can do that using that specific URL to send them and the public will have no clue that there's a 50% off coupon. So hopefully that all makes sense. Um, if you have any questions about the functionality and or the different scenarios I was showing you, let us know if you have any questions, but that's how the coupons work and the dynamic coupon links. Thanks.